What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Today's video. Today's video, we're going to react to a video that was sent to me by my longtime subscriber, Kamai. Kamai Shadow, thank you for sending this. And this is a video um, from China Mac TV. Go ahead and check it out. Support the channel. And this one is called I Pulled Up on the Chicanos in Vietnam. Do my. Isn't that what they say? Do my. Anyways, um, I think this is a beautiful thing. Um, I skipped to, I'm starting at around two minutes, 32 seconds, because uh, China Mac was playing some of his music in the beginning. Um, I don't, that's all I heard. I just wanted to make sure I heard the intro. I don't know if there's any more music. If there is, then China Mac's going to make me do some damn editing. <laughs> but um, in the beginning, because I don't know if he's going to say it again or ask this guy, but they're in Vietnam right now. And um, China Mac said that there are some people who be, who, who believe that this is uh, cultural appropriation or something like that. Um, me personally, I can only speak for me. Whenever I do my videos, I only speak for myself, right? Um, I don't, I don't feel, um, it's a negative thing. Um, I know in Japan, there's a, there's a huge, um, Chicano culture. I didn't know Vietnam had it, but if we break down our DNA, here we go. Before I even get into the video, right? Breaking down DNA. We share the same skeletal frame as, as Asians. Um, there's, there's. Throughout history, there's been they've scientists have acknowledged three skeletal frames. Now there's a fourth one. One is the Caucasoid, which is the European skeletal frame. Then you have the Negroid, which is the African American skeletal frame. Then you have the Mongoloid, which is the Asians. We share that same frame. And then now the fourth one is called Australoid. And the Australoids are only uh, in Australia, and those are the Aborigines. Um, you know, so when people talk about people, oh, they, they come from this and they come from that. Your skeletal frame tells you what you come from. Now, that said, I also want to say this before I get into the video. I want to say something right here. I had a Sally. And he's one of the guys that founded in Monte Flores, right? One of the original 12 dudes that started in Monte Flores. Uh, he had Las Flores huge across his back. He said that was the original name. They were originally founded in South Almania. He gave me the whole rundown, right? He was an airborne ranger in Vietnam. He fought in Vietnam, did several tours in Vietnam. He's all sleeved down, started doing time in the 70s, doing time in the state in the 70s after he got out of Vietnam. And um, on his right arm, I believe it was his right forearm, he had Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh was who the United States were fighting against him and his people, right? And I asked him, I said, hey, Holmes, what is that right there? And he had Ho Chi Minh, and then underneath it, it had NVA, North, North, Vietnamese, North Vietnamese Army, right? And I go, hey, Holmes, what's, what's that right there? And he says, that's Ho Chi Minh. I said, why would you put that on you? Without any hesitation, he said, that motherfucker's got heart just like us, homie. They're the same as us. And he said, I, I, I put this on me out of respect for them. That motherfucker's got heart. I never forgot that. You know, and when you know Vietnam's history, everybody that tried lost fucking around with them. So, um... Anyways, getting back to the appropriation, I don't see it as a negative thing. They're embracing the good things, right? They like the, the you know, it's crazy because it's so, it's so rare to see Raza in Southern California dressed like this or Raza in California, period, dressed like this. And yet the Asians, like I said, in, in, ja in Japan, it's big. Um, I don't know if it's in China. Um, I feel like I said that like Donald Trump. He says it funny, huh? And then now I'm, I'm happy to see it's in Vietnam. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, but Asia don't eat a lot of bread. In China, uh, Koreans, yeah. you don't eat bread. Why, why do y'all have 
sandwich. Is it because of the the, the French? Maybe. Right. <laughs> because maybe, of the maybe, French, maybe, right? Maybe, maybe. History, you know? The history. Yeah, you know everything. Uh, from Spain, from America, like this. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of Chinese here too, right? Yeah. Because when I was in, a, in New York, yeah. I have some Vietnamese friends yeah. that speak Chinese, speak yeah. Cantonese. Yeah. But my brother. Your brother can. Yeah, can. Oh, he can speak Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can anybody speak Spanish here? A little bit. Oh. A little. Can you speak? Yeah, yeah. Can you speak some Spanish? Hola. <laughs> Well, you're saying hi at least. <laughs> I know Vietnamese. I know one word. Doma? Yeah, <laughs> everybody knows Doma. <laughs> Doma, right? Doma. Doma. Wait, 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 that's a bad word. Yeah. That's a bad word. That's the only word I know. Yeah. You understand, right? Doma? Yeah, it's like, 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 fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, and this is going to seem this is ignorant on my end, right? Um, as far as when I think of Vietnam, how many of you guys, when you think of Vietnam, think of jungle still and undeveloped? So this is a great video. I'm glad that China Mac did this because this gives us an opportunity to not just see them embracing the Rasa culture and showing love to it, but then letting us see that they, they have uh, advanced. It's not like it was in when we see all those damn movies on Vietnam. It's all jungles, right? So I'm interested. The old school food in Vietnam, bro. You can see everywhere in Vietnam. But me. Yeah, me. Yo, this bread looks fresh. Oh, you put an egg in the bami? This bottle's making tortas or what? <laughs> yeah, egg. <yeah. laughs> what kind of sauce is that? Chili? Yeah, chili. Oh, some greens. Yeah. Wow, look at that meat. Oh, that looks good. You eat this all the time? I don't need to know in the uh, Kamai, somebody. What is that guy saying in the background? What is it? Is it like he's doing a call for something? Huh? Maybe she is four times one week. Three or four times a week. I love it. He do a good job? Yeah, yeah. Is this the best bami out here? Yeah. The best? I think so, bro. You think so? My guy putting in the work. I like your hat. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I remember when the Asians she made my mouth water right there. I remember in the joint, man, when the Asians would make their damn spreads, there would be, man, they used to get, they used to get a whole, they always used to do this, see? No matter what damn yard you're on, they always get their hands on the pie tin, see? And they'll put a fucking handle on it, like a fucking frying pan, homes, and they'll have their uh, octopus in there, well, no, no, squid, what is it? Like squid and all, man, homes. I'd be like, hey, what's up, homie, you need me to pass that or what? <laughs> They used to always hook me up, eh? The bread is like super crispy, 
super fresh, super soft though. It's like crispy and soft at the same damn time. Let me bite into the. Yeah. Bunny, mm. <clears throat> man. Bunny, bunny. For the meat, super tender, super flavorful. The greens that they use, I think it's like mint. The egg mm. with the, the yolk dripping down onto the bread and the meat together. <laughs> oh man, this is good. Mm. Wow. When something's good, yeah. It's spa. 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 Yeah. That's spa. That's spa. Yeah. Also, when something's good, yeah. you say bussin'. 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 Yeah. <laughs> China Mac, come on, big dog. They, they're in the Chicano movement right now. Let don't let don't let's not mix it up right now. <laughs> Teaching my boy some swag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, this is so good, man. Mm. You shy, bro. It's local beer in Vietnam. It's local my, beer? Yeah, yeah. It's a rooster friend. beer. Yeah, a chicken. A chicken. A chicken. You know that's you know my, that's my sign. Right. Oh, rooster beer. Let's see. It's good. What? It's yeah. good. I've never tried it. <laughs> you never tried it? Yeah, <laughs> Man, you don't drink beer? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I right. stopped. When it was wrong, I drink, but you drink. Yeah. Don't tell me it tastes like fucking Modelo. Don't go there, fool. He's going to say Los Equis or Modelo. I feel it right now. It kind of tastes like a mix between a Heineken and a Guinness. I don't know oh. how you can mix that, but that's what it kind of tastes like to me. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Let's see how it tastes with this. This is Saigon. This is Saigon, local. Oh, beer Saigon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was your first tattoo? Uh, the bottle here. Yeah. This one? Yeah, when I was uh, maybe uh, 15 years 15 old. 15 years yeah. old. That's a big one for 15. Yeah, man. Does Vietnamese get a lot of tattoos? Yeah. Is a that lot. a part of the culture? I have a lot, bro. Right. What made you get it on your forehead? Why forehead? I don't know, man. When I was young, you know, I, I saw some guy have a lot of tattoos. I love it so much, bro. My my father. You know what? I'm gonna say something. Like like I've I've spoken about it a lot. When I came into the system, there weren't a lot of face tattoos. Like maybe somebody would have their old lady's name right here, you know, or, or their neighborhood. Not, not not really their old lady. Somebody now and then maybe the mom's name right here, but like their neighborhood right here. Nothing major. And I remember a lot of homies. Older homies, when you want to get tattoos, they didn't want to tattoo your face. Like they would, if somebody, hey, I want to get a tattoo. Like, Come on, homie. Like you, you already fucking broke your mom's heart coming to prison and catching a life sentence. Like you really want to fuck your face up, eh? Your mom and your grandma, that's gonna break their heart. They would tell you shit like that. I remember when I got my daughter's name right here. Um, the homie uh, uh, Camarón from Santa Paula, he did that. Right. And I was like, hey, I want my daughter's name. Or he's like, hey, homie, I really don't do anything from the neck up. Homes. I, I just, you know, I try to look out for the little homies. I was like, come on, fool. It's my daughter's name. So he did it. But I've also like when I see bottles, I have, you know, I know it's the new thing now. I know it's a new thing and it's a trend. And, you know, but damn, trends come and go. We know that. Right. I always I always wonder, like. What what like when you're 60 years old, eh? And you're all blasted. And your grandkids will be like, damn, man, fucking thought that's crazy, huh? Motherfucker got tattoos everywhere. I've always wondered about that. Like, like, yeah, okay, when you're a youngster, maybe you think it looks cool, but shit. What about when you get older, homes, and, and um, you want to walk your daughter down the aisle or your granddaughter down the, down the aisle and, and you're all fucking blasted from fucking head to toe and you know, we're not the same person, you know, like he got his first tattoo. He said that tattoo on his shoulder when he was 15. You're not the same at 20 as you were at 15. Imagine when you're 70. I don't know. Just something to think about. Those of you thinking about getting face tattoos and, you know, think about 
imagine walking, you know, close your eyes and picture walking your daughter down the aisle or your granddaughter down the aisle if they ask you to. How do you want to look? How do you want them to feel and everybody to feel seeing that? My friend in oh, Vietnam, bro. Okay. They have a lot of tattoos, but in the jail, you know. So what was your first Mexican style? The first Mexican style. Chicano style. Chicano style. Maybe my back. Oh shit! This one right here, the whole, the whole back. Yeah. That's your first Chicano style. Yeah. And then here and here. What do you think about people like the Chicano people yeah. that say, "Oh, you know, they don't like you yeah. with, with, with that." But who's like? I mean, he maybe he's just asking a question. Who's saying that though? I want to know in the comment section. How do you feel, Rasa? How do you feel about it? Like, I don't see it as 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 they're trying to clown. Um, I feel like they, you know. So I've heard in Japan they like the fact that Rasa are so so family oriented because I guess in Japan it's it's a different type of thing over there, and they they like the camaraderie. Um. And those of us that that know, we know that there is a lot of camaraderie. Unfortunately, um, there's a lot of treachery that comes. The deeper you get into the, the stuff, the more treacherous it becomes. And the, the camaraderie is not what we thought it was. But if you can keep the treachery out and just the camaraderie and, and, and you know, the family feel and, and, and the positive parts, I think that's a great thing. What do you what do you think about that? I don't care, bro. There you go. But, you know, I just uh, love Chicano culture. I respect culture. Like, I feel I, that. I live in with Chicano culture. I not do wrong, bro. There you go. You have 13 yeah. on here. That's what, what I noticed. You know the the, the, the 13 here. Uh, is I think it's uh, the my lucky number. Bro. It's your mm. lucky number. Yeah. Because when I was young. I have big problems though mm. my body, but I, I I don't die. Mm. I think this guy uh, might look good. And I want to say something real quick. So, to for the rasa that don't know, you know, there's this whole thing. It's so crazy how things have turned upside down right the number 13 to our ancestors was a good luck number to the europeans it was a bad luck number and if you notice there's a lot of buildings if 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 you know certain hotels when you look at the 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 elevator when you get in the elevator there's no 13th floor because they don't want it they feel that's a bad luck number same thing uh, same thing with um crows or ravens i don't know which one the big ass ones you know the big ones i think they're crows right to our ancestors when you saw them that was a good luck sign the reason why they're extremely intelligent those birds are so fucking smart and so there were pets a lot of our ancestors kept them as pets so to the Europeans, when they saw him, it was a bad, it was a bad omen. You know why? Because they were probably going to get into a battle. It's, it's weird. But anyways, yeah, the 13 was a, was a, a good luck number. Actually, um, you know, in the, in, in the calendar, the old calendar of, 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 of ancient Mexico, the week wasn't seven days long. Like in the European cal calendar, the, a week is seven days long. In the old calendar in, in Mexico, uh, a week was 13 days and it was called a trecena. So just a little, little rambling for you. Hey, do you know? Right. Yeah. Do you, do you know like the 13? Yeah, I know. You, you know what that means yeah. to some people, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. But I don't care though, because my family, my friends know. Right. They know. But then do you think that, do you think that you should maybe care a little bit and say, you know what? I respect, like yeah. I respect and and reach out to like some of them and say, okay, let me know what's respectful and what's not respectful. Yeah. I don't mean disrespect. I just, 
love your culture. Yeah. I respect your culture, yeah. but I don't want you to feel disrespected. Hmm. That's an interesting question because um no disrespect to China Mac, but there are people that would say China Mac acts more black than Asian. And China Mac, you ain't never had to ask nobody nothing. You did what you did because you grew up the way you grew up. And I feel that's the same with them. Um, they're in a different country. Um, they're showing love. Like he said, his first thing out of his mouth is, I love that culture. I respect that culture. To me, that's where it's at, you know. Um, and maybe for old dinosaurs like me, um, you know, the way the Rasa act now accept the, the excessive use of the N-word, um, but the way they dress and the way they act, that's why I say I can't speak bad about it. I don't. Do I like it? No. I, but it's the reason why is because I feel like we're losing our own identity. But like I said in a video about that, you know, every generation looks kind of frowns on the generation that comes after them. You know, but this right here, that I mean, it was a good question, but I think that's a very hard question to ask because nobody has ever asked anybody else. You know, when they act a certain way, they don't go like, who's the spokesman? Who do they ask? Not everybody has the same opinion. You'll see in the comments today um, on this video, you'll see a lot of comments. You're going to see some people that, that don't agree with me. So who do you ask? And why would the other guy care? You know, just as long as you're showing respect and love. Do your thing, man. Fuck it. If that was me, I would say maybe bring a Chicano and come bring them here and like, you know, like have them kind of show you exactly what is respectful yeah. and was not respectful. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. some people might say, yo, that's because people die for this. Yeah, yeah. Like the no. 13, like a lot of people yeah. die for that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You should and then let's like i get it because he's there the, the chicano thing so he, he, they're not putting that number on him for that but let's also be clear that a lot of whites also put 13 on them i don't know if they still do it but they used to do it before and it was because there were there were stoners you know and um i'm not gonna get into the whole thing but but a lot of old OG whites out here in California will tell you, yeah, there was a lot. I've seen a lot of whites that had 13 on them and it meant nothing. It had nothing to do with what the Rasa do with that number, you know? Um, I don't know. You should care, just respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Cause when you say you don't care, it's like, damn, he don't care about us. You know what I'm saying? Like he just care about him. But it's not like that. I know I could feel your energy. Yeah, yeah. You're not like that. But still, you can't control how somebody else say, oh, that's disrespectful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. somebody else might say that, damn, that's disrespectful. Yeah. You don't have respect for my culture. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what you're saying, right? You don't have disrespect for the people. You respect the people. Yeah. Right. Respectful. Right. So you, I spoke to my friend. Um, let me show you. My friend. He follows you too. Oh, I love him. This I is my brother. Him. Yeah, I know him. You know him? I know him. You guys follow each other, I right? I know him. Yeah. We should bring Baldacci yeah. here, man. We should bring my brother here. Yeah. It's important for you, for for the people that take in this culture to really bring somebody from the culture and learn. Like, okay, is this okay? Yeah. Okay, this is now okay. All right, fine, cool. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, we do what's okay, we don't do what's not okay, we know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But if you don't, you gotta try to learn first, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You think that'd be cool? Cool, bro, fucking cool. I love him, bro. Yeah, Baldachi, yeah. we gotta get you out here, bro. Yeah. That'd be fire, right? Yeah. He gotta tatch you up. You give Baldachi a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool, bro. That would be a great, that would be good, bro. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's right. respect. Yeah, respect, bro. Hey, come on. Yo. <laughs> oh, my favorite movie. That's one of my favorite movies. Look at him, the Korean guy. <laughs>
Pharaoh oh, was with Pharaoh Moses. You can know it's in Pharaoh your heart, heart not on your skin. Vietnam from back then, when he was a kid, changed from now. Ah, thì là Việt Nam có theo thay đổi. Hồi hồi xưa tới bây giờ có thay đổi không? A lot, bro. A lot. What? What? What changed? Change like. Better, you know, it's better. Life better. Mm -hmm. So when you was a kid, was it worse? It, 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 the life was not not as good. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and end my part, my reaction right there. I think this video is long enough. Uh, I would ask that everybody who sees this go ahead and check out China Max entire video. Um, I find this interesting, man. I really do. Um, now that I now I, I mean, I've known Japan had a, a, a Chicano culture movement. Now I know Vietnam does. I'm curious uh, if there's any other um, countries that have that. Um, I think this was a good interview. Um, let's see if Baldacci goes and they, they film another one, you know. But uh, anyways, that's that's my video for today, man. Let me guys, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments, um, how you feel about this um, and, and be honest, man. And, and hopefully we don't have trolls putting fake Rasa accounts and talking shit because I'll just I'll just block it if I feel somebody's trolling, because this was very interesting to me. And I'm very interested to see what you guys feel and what you have to say about this. So with that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.